What's going on YouTube? It's Coast by Coast here bringing you another video. Today we're gonna do a high bald fade and on top he has waves. We're gonna do a two open with the grain. All right, so we're gonna bald him out with our wall detailer and then I typically clean it up with my gold FX trimmer and shaver. If you guys haven't heard about it already, go sign up to the Tune 45 Academy. There are five educators on there teaching you more in-depth haircut tutorials that are 45 minutes long. You can ask them any question that you would like and they will answer them all. So if you guys are looking for any more education, more than just YouTube, go check that out. Link will be in my bio. We're gonna start balding him out with the wall metal magic clip using the filthy mod. I typically always set my open section about that same height if you would but after that we come in with the lever halfway open and then the lever all the way closed at the very bottom and after we went through those steps then we will cut to color that's typically where I use the lever a little bit more and just go by what my eye can see and make sure that it looks like the perfect fade at the bottom So right here what I'm doing is I'm tapping on the bald line that I couldn't get out originally with my shaver. If you tap on it, it does like a little fade and it'll take that bottom line out for you. We're gonna continue the same exact steps with the one guard. So we're gonna start all the way open. And then once we've got that pretty clean, we're gonna comb it down so we can see what we're looking at. And then after that, I went ahead and took it all the way close, flicking it up through the bottom. And then I'm gonna take my half guard halfway open, and that's gonna take out that last line right there. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and look at my 1K giveaway video. I have not announced a winner yet. I'm not up to 1K. I'm about 80 away right now. So if we can get up to 1K, I'll, I'll do that giveaway. It's gonna be a Sean Cuts Hair Color Enhancement card, a Matt Gifted Hands Clipper Lid, and a Tune 45 No Drip Onyx Black. So right here what we're doing is connecting the sides to the top. We're doing a two with the lever all the way closed, and then we'll come back through with the one and a half open and closed, just depending on what we need to get at the last line. Right here I'm gonna go ahead and fade down the side burns on this beard. I'm right now using a one open. And then I came back with one and a half closed and I just went against the grain at the top just to make sure that it lays in smoothly. Right here, I'm just shaping up what's hanging over and just kind of giving it a better shape rather than, as you can see, kind of towards this lip, it's kind of bulging right there. So we're gonna take that little bit of weight out right there, but we're just gonna make it smooth for him and line everything up. And he likes it to a point, kind of like Suge Knight. I don't know why. I asked him to fade it. We did it a couple times and he didn't like it. so. This is the only time you'll ever see me with a beard to a point like that on my channel. And we're gonna do the same steps to the back. But while we're here, I'm just gonna give you guys a little story about this client right here. This was actually my very first client. He used to just shave his head bald in high school. Don't ask me why. So he was the easy first person I could cut because he didn't really want anything, but he did want it low. So for the longest time, we just did a one guard with the lever all the way closed against the grain on top. And that's how I learned how to fade was on the sides. And the crazy thing is when I started cutting his hair, it was kind of warm outside. I don't remember if it was like late fall or if it was in the summer, but his mom wouldn't even let me cut his head, his hair in the house. She would make us go outside. So we'd be just out there sweating, but it's whatever it takes to learn how to cut hair. That's how we got here. But as you guys can see, even at the lowest part of our fade, I'm still flicking that clipper out. You wanna make sure that you're not digging into the head. It definitely messes with your fade. You'll end up taking it up higher and higher. Anyways, guys, I'm working on some t-shirts. If you guys would be interested, leave me some comments. I'm not gonna make a website. I don't think I have enough customers to do that, but I will be taking orders and they'll be posted on Instagram. But if I get those in before the giveaway, before I hit 1K for that giveaway, then I'll include a shirt. You'll just have to tell me what size. 
So right here, I'm kind of going at an angle. His occipital sits funny, so I try to leave a little bit more hair right there to cover it, but also, he don't ever brush his crown area. I always tell him he needs to, because that's one of the most important parts. Whether you got a ball fit on the sides or not, it definitely makes it look complete. So lastly, we're gonna use the detailing guards, and that's gonna be the half guard or the zero guard. Halfway open and closed as we need it. It didn't get the line out, so we're gonna use the open, open clipper to take that out. And then after that, we're gonna use the one and a half, and that's gonna finish off the back. And guys, go ahead, leave me a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button if you have not already and hit that notification bell. I will be posting it every single Monday and Thursday night. And we're gonna do the same steps on the last side. And when we do this, I'm gonna speed up this side and just let the music ride. If I need to tell you guys anything, I'll drop it in. If you guys have made it this far, Sean Cuts Hair is doing a Labor Day discount code on his website. I believe it's Labor Day 15, but go to his Instagram and it'll tell you exactly. He has some new merch up, he has some new t-shirts and hoodies, I believe. Also earlier, I mentioned I'd have t-shirts and what I did was I put that coast in the bottom left corner. It's just white and black. That is at the top of the back. And then on the front is the C from that coast in a circle. That'll be on the front. I didn't want to put my logo big across the chest just because I heard S. Craft Blend say he didn't want to rock another dude's name across his chest. I don't know. Anyways, I didn't want this shirt to be thrown in the back of your closet if you buy one. So it is just like an everyday clean looking t-shirt. two guard with the lever all the way open on top. So I'm gonna do the two guard with the lever all the way closed on his hairline so that it's cut down just one lower and we can put a sharper line on it. We are gonna use the wall detailers to line him up. I did grab my silver FX's at first and they wouldn't cut through the hair with the hairspray. You can tell his hairline, he definitely has a widow's peak. And to make it match, I just kind of put a rough draft on his hairline, then I'll go back and make sure that I get it straight. I would just not like to push him back too much, even though that's what we have to do. So now we're just gonna make sure that his beard matches the other side and everything blends in perfectly. Nothing's hanging out. It's like I got a uniform shape to his face. right here what I was talking about in my detailer review video. These are so much better for scooping on the neck than the gold FX. The gold FX always pull on the Adam's apple. And the perfect guard for a mustache is the one and a half on that detailer. I don't know what it is, it just keeps it just dark enough, but also low enough to where you ain't gotta mess with it for a couple weeks. And he likes the inside of his soul patch area and his chin all sculpted, so You'll see, I'm just really gonna put a rough draft here too, and then I'm gonna clean it up with my razor later on. So we're gonna use our Tomb 45 razor to dry shave his hairline. We're gonna hold it at a 45 degree angle, making sure that we're not cutting into his skin. And we're gonna do the same exact thing with his beard. Right, 
guys, that's the end of the haircut. I did mess up my clips on the color enhancement, but we got a two open on top, high bald fade. If you guys like this video, leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. It's Cuts by Coast, and I'm out of here.